You see, there are three ways to gain knowledge. First of all, we can ask a very basic question. Why at all should we gain knowledge? I am very sure you all are eager to gain knowledge. Therefore, you went to school, huh? then you went to college. Now also studying more and more to gain knowledge. But why do we want to gain knowledge? Think about it. Actually, we, went to, we want to gain knowledge because in a dark room, the darkness is compared to ignorance. Huh? If you don't switch on a tube light and you don't see things as they are, we are going to be fearful while we enter a dark room. Because there may be some scorpions, there may be some maybe serpents or something, snakes. But when the light is on, you see things as they are, you have no fear. So this is the first reason why anybody may want to gain knowledge. Because when you, have, when you are in knowledge of a thing, like for example, the corona now, disease. As soon as Corona came, there was uncertainty. People started dying. So the man wanted to be knowledgeable about what is this Corona uh, virus and how does it enter? How can we protect all other people who may, who may otherwise die? So therefore, we want to gain knowledge to, to become free from ignorance. That's one reason. Another reason we want to gain knowledge is to make life comfortable. Like now I am sweating now. If I invent a fan, then I can be free from Sweating. This is a kind of air conditioner. So, if I can gain knowledge on what are the troubles that I face in this world and how to counteract those troubles so that I can be happy. Therefore, modern man actually is gaining more and more knowledge to counteract the problems of this world. Try to put a full stop to them or if I cannot put a full stop, at least alleviate them. Reduce the suffering, at least. So, that's another goal. Why you, why you wish to gain more knowledge. So first I told you the reason why you want knowledge is to switch on the uh, tube light in a dark room. Uh -huh. So that, that means to gain knowledge, to be free from fear. Mm -hmm. Second I told you, we want to gain knowledge to make life more comfortable. Mm -hmm. Thirdly, we want to also uh, gain uh, knowledge to... Avoid sufferings also. Like for example, I am walking on the road, its leg is painful. I can't walk long distances. So then I invent a scooter or I invent a car. So I can avoid suffering. Therefore, the science started advancing for these purposes. To you know, reduce, Like for example, I want to travel from um, say Delhi to Chennai. It is so far. People used to walk long distances. So now you have trains, now you have flights. So you can travel very swiftly. So, to reduce the suffering, to increase the comforts, and to become free from fears for these purposes. And one more reason why we want to gain knowledge is just for the sake of sheer knowledge. Sri Prabhupada, when he was in America, he asked one Dr. Benford, scientist, why do you guys make a research on this grass? You know, you have written two bulky volumes on the topic of grass. And Prabhupada said, look at this. Cows, without reading your book, they are eating grass peacefully. They don't need the knowledge of your books. What is the use of writing such bulky books in your biology on grass? So, Dr. Benford said, Swamiji, you see, for the sake of sheer knowledge, we just want to know, you know what is inside the grass. What is this protoplasm, cytoplasm, nucleus? We want to study it. What is the structure of a grass and everything? So, Prabhupada said, instead of studying the grass in so much detail, why didn't you study the person who put it here? And you can also ask, why did he put the sun here? Why did he put the moon here? Why did he put us all here? <laughs> why did he put the grass here? Why there are so many living forms? Why didn't you go to the root of all existence? So, of course, Dr. Benford couldn't answer. So, basically, modern man is researching in the field of science to make life comfortable, to reduce suffering, and to go on gaining knowledge in different fields, to become free from fears. 